previous proposal. So, Mr. Speaker, I stand in solidarity with those Kenyans that said that uh, this must be rejected in totality. Mr. Speaker, I want to ask the Inspector General to stop interfering with Kenyans when they are exercising their democratic right of picketing because Kenyans have a right to defend themselves. When they see the constitution being uh, mutilated, when they see their pockets being ravaged, when they see their children being unable to go to school to put food on the table, they have every right to defend themselves. Inspector General, can you concentrate on defending the country and stop interfering with Kenyans? And this revolution, which is unfortunately a kindly revolution, Mr. Speaker, has, it is unstoppable. Because when we were in the streets, you could call Raila Amolo Odinga, you could call Stephen Kalonzo Musioka and ask them to tell the troops to go back. Who do you call when you pass this bill? So I reject and I vote, I, I, I reject. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Thank you. That order, Owen Bayer. Thank you very much, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, coming to speak on the finance bill on the heels of uh, my counterpart from the minority is uh, interesting because uh, I tried to get at least something from Honorable Mbui that he was saying that was useful and a contribution to the finance bill, but I couldn't get any. I just heard him shout about Mandamano and all that. But we forgive him. We forgive him. Forgive him. I want to start by saying this, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, the finance bill is one of the very important documents that comes to Parliament. It is part of the budget cycle that somehow, as we go through the budget cycle, our finance bill will come to the House, Honorable Speaker. We have the opportunity now to look at Finance Bill 2024. Honorable Speaker, a finance bill is usually a document of revenue-raising measures. But this finance bill must be looked together with the budget statement and the budget that we passed in this. The, in this house, the finance bill complements the budget, the budget uh, that we passed in this house, Honorable Speaker, that we have to raise revenue, resources, that we can finance the budget. So these two documents must be looked together, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, when we received the uh, budget, the uh, finance bill in this house, we tabled it here. But it was a proposal from Treasury. And when a proposal comes to the House, Honorable Speaker, it needs to be debated. It they cannot pass the way it, it has been brought. It is scrutinized by the House. And the Constitution, Honorable Speaker, gave us the opportunity to do public participation. And public participation, Honorable Speaker, is a key plank in passing laws and legislation in this House. Treasury makes wild proposals that comes to the House. But it is up to this House to sit down, debate those proposals, look at them, and see whether they are fair revenue-raising measures for the country. Honorable Speaker, we have had a thorough public participation, one which Kenyans spoke their feelings about the finance bill. Honorable Speaker, Kenyans talked to the committee. Kenyans raised their voices about contentious issues in the finance bill.